हेलो गाइस सो नाउ वी शेल बी डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग व्हाट इज वेंट्रल मीसोगैस्ट्रियम व्हाट इज डॉर्सल मीसोगैस्ट्रियम ओके सो वी शेल डिस्कस अबाउट वेंट्रल एंड डॉर्सल मीसोगैस्ट्रियम सो टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी रिगार्डिंग मीसोगैस्ट्रियम देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मीसोगैस्ट्रियम वन वी हैव गॉट इज अ वेंट्रल एंड डॉर्सल सो रैदर इट वुड बी बेटर इफ आई राइट इट डाउन लाइक दिस सो द टॉपिक वुड बी रिगार्डिंग द मीसो गैस्ट्रियम मीसो गैस्ट्रियम ओके सो देर आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मीसो गैस्ट्रियम वॉट आर दिस टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स वन इज कॉल्ड एज द वेंट्रल मीसो गैस्ट्रियम another one is called as a dorsal mesogastrium so let us see what are these now first of all i will draw the developing gut or a primitive gut okay so from the side when you see the developing gut or a primitive gut how does it look but before that one very important thing i want to tell you is that if you are looking if you are looking anyone from the side two body portions you can see the anterior side the posterior side so this side is called as a anterior abdominal wall and the back one is called as a posterior abdominal wall okay anterior and posterior for example what i'm trying to tell you is that let us say this line which i'm drawing is the anterior abdominal wall where you have umbilicus like this okay and next this line which i'm drawing on the back this is called as a posterior abdominal wall okay posterior abdominal wall so whereas this one will be your anterior abdominal wall posterior and anterior abdominal wall now in the center what do you have in the center you have got the primitive gut which means the gut which is now developing slowly okay so a primitive gut which is developing slowly looks like this let us say see this part which is developing like this is called as your foregut okay and after the foregut this structure which you have over here after the foregut this structure which you have over here right so this is called as a midgut what is this structure over here this is called as your midgut so one is foregut and this is your midgut and after that this structure over here which you have got is your hindgut hind gut so this is not a fully formed intestine right so this is a intestine which is forming now and in the same way you also know that here on the right hand side here on the right hand side we have got the liver right this is a developing liver and you also know we have got a developing spleen on the left hand side right so what are these two things this one is called as your developing spleen and this is called as your developing liver on the right and on the left hand side right now very important thing you need to know what is this important thing you know that i discussed a topic called as uh, mesentery right i also discussed right now i am telling about mesogastrium so there are two different types of mesogastrium don't confuse mesogastrium with mesentery so two different types ventral as well as a dorsal ventral in the sense in the front so obviously all of you know this is the anterior side this is a posterior side because it is anterior abdominal wall it is posterior abdominal wall so here exactly from the gut so you see a fold of peritoneum is attached all the way from the gut to the anterior abdominal wall like this so what is this that is getting attached from the gut to the anterior abdominal wall guys so this thing which is getting attached from the gut to the anterior abdominal wall right this part over here is called as your ventral mesogastrium okay now in the same way from the gut to the posterior abdominal wall if anything there is something attaching like this this is called as the posterior or the dorsal mesogastrium so now tell me which mesogastrium is very big here ventral mesogastrium or dorsal mesogastrium obviously the dorsal mesogastrium so dorsal mesogastrium continues all the way till the hindgut like this ventral mesogastrium stops here ventral mesogastrium is small dorsal mesogastrium is large now you even have got blood vessels which supply the blood right let us say that this is a blood vessel like this so this is a aorta okay from the aorta you have got arteries that are supplying let us say 
from the iota there is an artery that is coming all the way and inserting here from the iota there is another artery that is coming all the way like this you see this artery is coming and this artery is supplying to this part over here okay and from the lower part also you have got an iota artery that is coming and inserting here what are these things first of all you should know that this part over here is called as foregut this part over here is called as midgut and this part over here is called as hindgut so if i ask you what is the artery of foregut you should tell this artery name is called as celiac artery or celiac trunk if i ask you what is the artery of foregut you should tell it is celiac trunk if i ask you what is the artery of midgut you should call it as a superior mesenteric artery okay if i ask you what is the artery of the hindgut you should tell it as inferior mesenteric artery okay so there are three important one is called as a celiac trunk is called as the artery of the foregut superior mesenteric is called as the artery of the midgut and inferior inferior mesenteric is called as the artery of the hindgut these are the three very important things which you need to remember right now let us see what does this foregut develop into what does this midgut develop into and what does this hindgut develop into okay so first of all let me draw down the entire intestine and then i'll explain you what are the different structures over here so if you see this picture over here guys so all of you know that this part over here which i'm drawing right now is the lateral surface of the face okay and here you have got your nasopharynx so let me put it black this is called as your nasopharynx over here and here you have got your oropharynx so both of them join together like this and they form laryngopharynx all of you are clear with this right so let us say there is also a division in between both of them in which this posterior part whatever is there this will continue down as a stomach esophagus and the stomach so this is the esophagus here you have got your stomach like this and this is your duodenum okay now from here from here all the way you have got what this is your jejunum or ileum this is your jejunum so this part is your jejunum and after that this part which i'm drawing right now is called as your ileum okay and all of you don't forget that here you have got appendix and this ileum is draining into what this ileum is attached to your cecum now here you have got the ascending colon this is your ascending colon right and after that this is called as your transverse colon and now from here the diagram changes now this is called as your transverse colon and here this part is called as your descending colon like this and this is called as your sigmoid and finally your rectum okay so this is the thing now here if you clearly observe three things i have drawn what are those three things black blue and green foregut midgut and hindgut so this developing foregut whatever is there right so this developing foregut will develop into what the foregut will develop into what all structures the foregut will develop into all these structures so all these structures are the structures of foregut okay so all these structures which have drawn in the black are developed from the foregut what are they let us say esophagus one is esophagus and the one is stomach and not only stomach even the upper part of the duodenum till the upper part of the duodenum everything is foregut okay so let us write it down esophagus okay and after that you have got your stomach and the upper part of duodenum upper part of duodenum so these three important things they are developed from the foregut now let us see what are the structures that are developed from the midgut now structures developing from the midgut are the lower part of the duodenum lower part of duodenum or you can call it as lower half of the duodenum next you have got the jejunum after the jejunum you have got the ileum 
so next you have got the cecum attached to the cecum you have got appendix appendix and after that you have got your ascending colon and next you have got the two third of the transverse colon you have got two third of transverse colon so till here you are uh, these are all developed from the mid gut okay so all these are the structures that are developed from the mid gut now let us say what are the structures that are developed from the hind gut the hind gut are the remaining two third of the transverse colon is left the remaining one third of the transverse colon one third of the transverse colon next you have got the descending colon next you have got the sigmoid colon next you have got the rectum okay so all these parts are developed from the hind gut so now you understood what are the structures that are developed on the fore gut what are the structures that are developed from the mid gut so these are the structures that are developed from the mid gut and these are the structures that are developed from the hind gut so what are the things we have discussed just now guys we discussed all the way from the mesogastrium i told you that there are two different types of mesogastrium one is called as a ventral and another one is called as a dorsal ventral mesogastrium is small dorsal mesogastrium is large ventral mesogastrium covers all this part dorsal mesogastrium on the back if i ask what is the artery of celiac uh, artery of the foregut you should call it as celiac trunk artery of the midgut is superior mesenteric artery of the hindgut is your inferior mesenteric artery okay inferior mesenteric artery so these are the some of the important things which you need to know okay so these are the important things foregut midgut as well as the hindgut okay so thank you so much for watching my video goodbye